And now to an ABC 10 exclusive. Sacramento police just wrapped up a months long operation that took drugs and even illegal explosives off the streets. Here's what we know so far. Well, in terms of what was located and seized, all of that was extremely dangerous and illicit in nature. Fentanyl, mushrooms, MDMA and amphetamines were just some of the items recovered in a recent drug operation led by the Sacramento Police Department. And this was an extensive investigation spanning, what, at least two months? Yes, two months. Um, it was a long-term investigation. We were able to partner with outside agencies as well to conduct the investigation. Police tell me they also recovered over $3,000 in cash, and that's not all. We were um, able to take multiple drugs off of the street as well as illegal explosives. Officers tell me they seized more than four grams of mushrooms, four grams of MDMA, four grams of amphetamines, and 13 ounces of fentanyl. Just a small amount of that fentanyl is enough to be lethal. Um, so close to a pound of that is certainly a hu huge amount. Fentanyl is up to 50 times more potent than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine, according to the California Department of Public Health. The governor's office says they've committed $1 billion to the issue since Newsom was elected. Half of that money comes from federal grants. The rest is from the state general tax fund and settlements from major drug manufacturers. Meanwhile, police are cracking down. I think that this was a needed investigation. Um, I think it sends a message to our community, um, those who are offenders and those who want to stay safe in our community. Police tell me they served three warrants and made two arrests in the investigation. And it sends a positive message to, you know, our community members that we are doing something and we're able to partner with outside agencies, conduct these long-term investigations and have a very positive result from them. I'm told police targeted at least two locations in North Sacramento for this operation on Branch Street and Jonas Avenue. They insist this is just part of their efforts to tackle this growing issue.